Hello, I'm Pat Olson. It's uh, certainly a special day uh, here on the Hilltop as we uh, introduce uh, the new athletic director on the campus, uh, Scott Sidwell. Uh, Scott, welcome aboard. Thanks so much. Nice to be here. Yeah, exciting times uh, certainly uh, on the Hilltop. But talk about what brought you to USF, what attracted you to this position. Well, it's really a great opportunity. Obviously, a wonderful institution, a great history of, of success here and traditions. Number, a number of great names that have, that have come through. We're sitting in the Bill Russell room and and I'm you know, looking at the coaching staff and the, the the kids that are coming back there's a lot of positive energy here in the athletic department at the institution and great value so so for me it's a wonderful opportunity you know it's an exciting time uh, here on the hilltop in addition to this being your uh, introduction day right. you look at the success uh, of this past season the rex walters what he did with men's basketball a tremendous run in the west coast conference they went to postseason jennifer az now with the women's program bringing excitement eric visser has done some great things with yeah. soccer the baseball team is off to a, a tremendous you know right. they've been playing really well so all those things make this really an exciting place to be wouldn't you agree absolutely absolutely the west coast conference has oh, such a great brand name you know in and around uh, the nation in, in college athletics and and you know uh, being a founding member you know here at san francisco and now when you add that to the mix you add what's going on here you add the values you add magnificent city the mix is good you know and it gives us an opportunity to do something special here and so i'm looking forward to working with you know our fans our coaches and people here at the institution to raise it to the next bar and be the leader be the leader in the west coast conference because you know at the end of the day for our student athletes it's about winning they're competitive. They want to win in the classroom. They want to win on the field. They want to win in the community. And so they're highly competitive people. We need to give them the resources and opportunities to compete and win. As you walk around the hallways and gone through the inner process, what, what sort of sense have you gotten about USF history and where USF stands from a historical standpoint. Well, historically, it's it's you know fantastic. I mean, you, all the great names that, that not only I mentioned, but are you know in the on the internet and in our in our books in this room alone. You look yeah. around, we're, you see we're all in the, the Bill Russell room. Bill that Russell says room. it all, you right? You see all these great jerseys hanging. You walk through the hallway and you see the you know the the trophy case and you see all the, all the great things there. So we, you know, I look at the great pride and passion that's here. We need to capture it and we need to unleash it so that our student athletes can go perform, compete and win and create their own legacies going forward. With all the fundraising success and you look at the resume and certainly it's all there and you know coming from Syracuse, big time school, but you know USF and the place of the Bay Area, you've got the 49ers, the Giants, the Raiders, the Warriors, you've got Cal, Stanford. Where does USF fit in all that? And what sort of challenges lie ahead in trying to get USF to get to that level with all the competition in this area? You know, I've uh, I've been been in a market in New Orleans, uh, Tulane University, where it was you know competing with the New Orleans Saints, competing with you know the New Orleans Hornets and the and the uh, New Orleans Zephyrs, and then right up the road, you know LSU. And so we had to find things that were unique to us, and then we had to go out and we had to promote that. And we're going to start right here with our own. You know, there's 100,000 alumni that are in this region. I think there's you know 60, 70,000 of them that are in the Bay Area. Well, you know what? That's an untapped, un unresourced group that, that we can take and we can really get them energized and get them to spread the message because it really is about the team. And the team is made up of, of everybody that's associated, you know, and where's the logo and where's the colors and goes out there and talks about it. When you get those things going and you get them connected, then you really have the opportunity to build your brand going forward. You know, you mentioned your kids and you introduced them earlier. Uh, how much were they and your family a part of this process? Because it's a big decision to yeah. make to say, hey, we're going we're gonna to move across to the, sure. to the West Coast sure. and, and live in this town called San Francisco. And right. it's very different than New Orleans was and, yeah. and that Syracuse was. Yeah, no, no, no question about it. But the thing I told them that resonated, uh, I think, with them and certainly for me was um, when we sat down and, and let them know that we are moving to San Francisco, I, I made the comment to them that for the five of us, nothing changes. It doesn't matter if we're in New Orleans or we've evacuated from Katrina and we're in Ruston or we're in Syracuse or San Francisco. Our core group, that doesn't change. From that standpoint, you know, we really focused on the core of our, of our family and what we believe in and, and that, uh, that has really helped us. Talk about your vision uh, for athletics uh, here as, as you approach this position. Yeah, really, really it's about, you know, you know what, I love game day. I love game day. Nothing better than that. The band's playing, the you know, the people are excited, there's music blaring, there's you know, and all of a sudden they tip it off and they get going and you're there and then now you're a fan. So for me, hey, I'm a fan, I love it, you know, but I get to get to be experienced and see things beyond that. And I love the experiences that happen on game day and uh, 
you know, my son and I used to uh, would drive into games together, you know, and we'd talk about, okay, buddy, hey, it's a big game today, and here's what you can expect, and this and that, and then he'd be listening, and then all of a sudden, hear a good song on the radio, he'd turn it up, and he's getting excited. Hey, that's neat. That's, that's a neat part of it, you know. Uh, how familiar are you with the league? The league has done some uh, tremendous things. Uh, Jamie Zaninovich, the uh, commissioner yeah. in this league, has, has, you know, bringing BYU, yes. putting the men's basketball tournament to, in Vegas in yep. a neutral court situation and keeping that process sure, going sure. on. What kind of things have you heard about Jamie and the league, and how excited are you about the West Coast Conference? You know what, Jamie and I have had a couple of great conversations. Uh, he called right away and congratulated me when I took the post. And, uh, I think, you know what, in, in the world that we live in today and being able to position yourself and brand yourself, all the things that we're doing as a conference are fantastic. And we look forward to continuing to put them out there. You know, there's, there's a lot of things that people, you know, gravitate to. And, and I know this from my experiences, is that the schools in our conference, okay, and what we're trying to do to educate our student athletes, you know, put them in a position to excel in the classroom, put them in a position to, you know, excel in the community and then become leaders. That's what this is about. You know what? And there's a lot of people out there that want to be stakeholders in that. And that's what our league's about, you know? And, and there's some other leagues that aren't about that. You know, that's who we are. And we're going to stand up and be proud of that. And I, I just know this from experience. When you do that and you have a vision and you stick to it and then people can buy into it and be stakeholders, you, that's, that's when you win. Scott, uh, welcome Pleasure. aboard. Looking Pleasure. forward to Thanks getting so to know much. you a little bit better. You've already Absolutely. got the green tie. And the, hey, there you the go. Gold. You know, ready to go. Ready to, ready go. to go. All right, well, that's a little bit with uh, Scott Sidwell, the new uh, director of athletics uh, here on the Hilltop. You can, I think, get a sense uh, just in our short time of his passion about athletics. So a uh, new page turning uh, here on the Hilltop. Thanks for watching. I'm Pat Olson along with Scott Sidwell. Thank you.